My name's Ronan. And my name's Alex. And join us here at the Ocean Riviera Paradise by H10 in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. We arranged a complimentary taxi from the airport to the hotel. This took about uh, 50 minutes and uh, there was a bit of uh, waiting outside, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, but after that we were let in and here's the check-in area. We were promptly greeted by a member of uh, a management team, it seemed. Um, they told us to wait in a queue. Uh, we waited in the queue for about uh, 25, 30 minutes. And when we got to the front of the queue, the um, person on the desk said, nope, you can't check in here. You need to go and join the other queue. Um, and by the time we were checked in, that took around about, sort of, I would say, about an hour and a half. Just heading to the room now. And I have to say, cleanliness around the resort, I'd say, is on the poor side, given that this is a five-star hotel. I mean, look at the condition of the lift there. Um, we're in the room now, here's the bathroom with uh, doors which open up into the main room. Um, cleanliness in the bathroom is generally uh, pretty good, I'd say, overall. There's the shower and then next to it you've got the bathroom there, or the toilet rather. And uh, just going into the room here, there's uh, a locker for uh, those uh, more expensive items and personal belongings. Um, and uh, yeah, here's just some the storage space available for you to hang up your clothes. I also think it's worth pointing out here um, just the dirtiness of the wardrobe as well that you would have seen in the clip. Uh, looking into the bedroom we had a king size bed, the mattress uh, was of reasonable quality, nothing too special. Some complimentary drinks in the fridge that only include a local beer and some soft drinks so nothing special like you sometimes get in these kind of resorts with vodkas, gins. As you can tell, the room does look a little dated. They've tried to spruce it up clearly with some more modern cushions. Um, the main part of the room, which I think is the benefit of it, was ours, was the outside area, although look at the fan leaking after some rain. Sunsets from the room were spectacular, although the pools did close at 7pm each night, which was a little bit disappointing, with bars being completely closed. It just really killed the atmosphere, especially for an adults-only side. For the entertainment, the resort offers... Uh, there is kind of adult entertainment on around the pool, like pool games during the day. Um, I believe there were some sort of uh, kids' activities as well, although obviously didn't partake in those. Um, then towards the evening, uh, they do put on some uh, evening shows, as you can see here in the kind of theatre sort of uh, place they had, which were okay. Uh, I wouldn't say amazing, but better than absolutely nothing um, at all. Um, some were better than others. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, best than nothing. And uh, there was a bar here, which uh, yeah was well stocked in terms of uh, different alcohol. It was, in all honesty though, a really, really quiet place until probably about 11, half 11 at night. And even then, given the size of the resort, it was really, really quiet. I mean, like we're talking probably like 10, 11 people in there. Once the night bar closed at around uh, 1 or 2 a.m., there was a all-night diner restaurant, which was an American diner. Um, as you can see here, the ketchup was really disappointing. They'd clearly not replaced the ketchup, or they were refilling Heinz ketchup bottles with fake ketchup, which was just cheap. You'd get mozzarella's, burgers, chicken burgers. They were all of okay quality, but dining throughout the resort was just rather disappointing. We went to a beach um, restaurant one afternoon, and the wait for food was really long and the quality of it was really low. They did have some nice hammocks across the beach. The coffee shop I wouldn't recommend visiting. The food was despicable and the buffet food, if you like a um, sort of school dinner-ish food, it's absolutely perfect. Expect low quality, high output, lots of options but lots of low quality options. Lots of the food always had um, sort of emptiness there was always sort of areas that needed to be restocked and it was just a real shame for a five star resort to be hampered like this. As you can tell the pizzas weren't even that nice. And also a lot of the cutlery and sort of tableware was all chipped around the resort. Admittedly we did only pay £60 a night but to say this is a five star hotel I'm not quite sure it is. Probably a good three maybe four star hotel uh, but given the service and the standard of the resort kind of across all areas um, I probably wouldn't recommend coming back here uh, if you're in the area. No I also concur with Alex for this review that I wouldn't recommend people to come here but at £60 a night if you just want some cheap fun then yes maybe do put this on your list of places to come it's certainly not that five star standard. Just remember we've got a lot more reviews coming up including trips to Europe, trips around the world, business class flights and train trips so hit that like and subscribe button and that bell con to remain informed.